Hey guys, it's Claire Aiken with the Fiddle Leaf Fig Plant Resource Center and today I want to do another episode of What's Wrong With My Fiddle Leaf Fig and today we're going to talk about sunburn. I get a lot of questions all the time. People are sending me pictures of their plant wondering what's going on or what's wrong with our plant and it's pretty easy to figure out when sunburn is involved and it's it's sad and it's devastating. My own prize fiddle leaf fig got sunburned recently and it was tragic. We had our house painted so they took all the plants off the patio and they put them right in the middle of the yard during you know noon when the sun was high in the sky and my fiddle leaf figs just got brutally sunburned and only took about two hours to happen and unfortunately the leaves will not recover so the best thing to do is to remove them. Um, so it happens to everybody and it's super sad when it does, but let's just go through some pictures of what sunburn looks like. It actually can look a little bit different depending on the healthier plant, depending on how long it's in the sun, depending on how resilient your plant already was to sun. So when you think about fiddly figs, they actually can do fine in full sun. They just need to be acclimated, just like people. You know, you could go out and if you haven't been out in the sun for months, you could get a sunburn on the first day. Or if you kind of gradually tan over the summer, you could be out in the full sun all day and not sunburn. And plants are the same way. And so depending on how much sun your fiddle leaf fig is used to and how strong the sun is that day, it can cause a variety of different sunburn severity levels. The most common thing is you see this kind of sunburn pattern of this tan, um, you know, basically bleached section. And the telltale thing for sunburn is it only occurs on the top leaves of your plant that are in the full sun and the bottom ones are usually okay. Of course, that depends on how the sun is hitting your plant, but generally Generally, it's this kind of bleached out, dried, um, kind of tan look on your leaves. It also can look like sort of this like scabby dark brown pattern and that depends on um, you know how your plant is and if your plant is you know severely severely burnt or if it's just burnt a little bit sometimes it can be this kind of dark red brown um, especially if it gets a burn and then it heals for a few weeks it can look like this kind of dark brown pattern of sunburn. With any sunburn, the leaf is not going to recover, unfortunately. It's pretty damaged. The best thing to do is as soon as you notice the sunburn, just remove that leaf because it'll kind of drain the plant of resources and cause the plant pain as it tries to heal that burn. And since the leaf is never going to recover anyway, you might as well just take it off. Um, so you can just kind of clip all the sunburn leaves off, bring it back into the shade, and just be careful next time. You know, it's easier said than done. Uh, but they can get sunburned in a matter of a few hours, especially if it's hot out. Um, so just, you know, gradually acclimate your plants to being outdoors. Don't put them outdoors all at once. Um, and if you have an accident like, like I had, it's just time to start fresh and just apologize to your plant and start over. So I hope that was helpful. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and submit your pictures and your questions in the comments of what's wrong with your fiddly fig. Thanks for watching and have a great Sunday.